Hey, hi, hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are gonna do a vlog week. It is April 1st. We're gonna vlog every single day this week to kick it off because I've been not doing great with vlogging. So, smaller videos are more doable. So it's Monday morning, April 1st, starting off. Okay, let me preface first by saying I'm not like a woo-woo person. I don't manifest a ton. I'm not good at it, but I've started to kind of open up to it a little bit more. And I did this exercise in February and it came true. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and all credit goes to this creator on TikTok, OG Goldie. But essentially what you do is you're gonna manifest. So you get a little post-it note. You're gonna write a monetary goal for this month. So mine is I made blank off of social media in April of 2024. And you say made as if it's already happened. And then you sign it. I write a little heart and then I sign my name. Okay, and it's crazy. I picked like kind of a higher end number in February and it came true. So I was like, okay, there's some truth to this. Then March, I completely forgot to do it. And now we're back in April. So I'm not perfect either. <laughs> but I wanna share this with you in case you guys are also trying to live an abundant April and all that, you know, woo woo. I'm sitting here in my corner just re-reading it to myself, convincing myself that it's already happened, saying it out loud. I made blank off of social media in April 2024. Just saying it over and over and over again until I truly believe it. Once you truly believe it, you're gonna grab a quarter, put it in your left hand. I don't know how specific that is, but that's what she said. You're gonna take cinnamon and you're gonna pour it on the quarter. And then you're gonna walk outside of your front door. And if you live in an apartment, you can do it just like right inside of your door. But I don't we live in a house, so I'll walk outside facing towards our house because abundance flows where the cinnamon goes. You're gonna face towards your house and then I'll put on the screen a saying that she says to say. So you can just screenshot it easily, but this is what it is. I draw abundance, love, money, health, wealth, success effortlessly and abundantly to me without any blockages so you say that over and over again until again you should be feeling like tingly like it was weird i did i felt like i don't know you feel different say it until you like truly believe it while you're also holding this and then you're facing towards your house you blow the cinnamon into your like towards your house don't clean it up for at least like 24 hours then you're gonna put this quarter outside of your front door. I put it under our doormat and leave it for 24 to 48 hours. I know that's a bunch of woo woo. I know, I'm very aware, but I'm just saying it worked for me in February. So I'm gonna give it a go again, because what's worse gonna happen? Um, and then I just keep my little goal on my desk and look at it every single day. So that's how I'm starting off my April. I've just been really busy with my business, with my bride program, which has been going super well. So thank you for everyone who's supporting. My brides are great and I'm just like, I'm just so blessed right now. I have not been doing a good job balancing uploading on YouTube, so I'm so sorry. That's gonna change, we're gonna do every day this week. Okay, so it's called a vlog week. I think it'd be fun. It's just gonna kind of be like a short vlogmas. Like, so it's gonna be shorter videos, quickly turned around and update, uploaded. Um, a little background of Matt just got home last night. He was in Utah for a bachelor party, like at Zion National Park. Got home last night, so Indy and I were alone all weekend. We did a lot of long walks. I'm still going on a ton of my long walks. I love them. I've been really liking sunset walks recently with just the weather here in Houston. Time change kind of screwed up my 8 a.m., the 8K before 8A, just because it doesn't get light until like 7.30 and I'm not trying to walk in the dark for safety reasons, so. I've been moving it to a sunset walk and it's been so nice. We go out around like six, 5.45, six, and then walk until like 7.30 when the sun sets. And it's been really nice. I'm loving that. But we have a fun week, busy week. Today it's Easter. Well, yesterday was also Easter, sorry. So today is a holiday technically, um, but Mondays are when my girls check in. So I am going to be doing a lot of check-ins, a lot of computer work today. And then I also have been filming at-home workouts for you guys. So you can see, I, I kind of switched up our front room. All of this used to be over there. I switched it. So now I have like a little filming set and I've been doing my Pilates versus like Pilates X strength basically workouts. So I'm gonna find a way to share that with you guys. 
I'm thinking I might do like a six weeks Pilates strength challenge that you can do at home or like a four week, I don't know. We'll see how many workouts I create, but it'd be like Monday through Friday workouts, like five workouts a week. Stay tuned for that. We'll, um, I have to work on that. But other than that, what else? What else can I update you guys on? Here's Indy. Yeah, can you say hi? <laughs> Mondays are busy just because I'm on my computer checking in with my girls all day. Probably do my first check-in. I kind of like to break them up throughout the day. Do one and then do other stuff, then come back, do another. Otherwise, I, I get like, I can't think clearly and like fresh. If you want to work with me, I had two girls graduate program, aka got married. So if you're a bride who's getting married soon, I would love to work together. So I'll put the link down below to fill out a form and then I'll reach out to you. Schedule a call to make sure we're a good fit. Happy vlog week and thank you for being patient with me guys while I figure out. <laughs> I, have, I do have a lot of footage. I just did not edit it. So that's on me. I think I'm just gonna scrap it and start with vlog week. So vlog week day one, let's go. First thing in the morning, what I do is I take a probiotic. I've been loving the ritual one. I think they are gonna give me a code. This isn't sponsored. I just genuinely like them. I have my clients take them if they need them. Not everyone needs supplements also, by the way. That's why they're called supplements. You might not need as much as the next person, but I'm a very like foods first dietitian. Like I think you should try to get supplements and nutrients in through your food, but obviously there are gaps and stuff. So I take a probiotic. Where's my water? My water. I take this first thing, empty stomach. It's minty flavor, so it's really nice. I like that one, but any probiotic works. I think I'm gonna make up my matcha latte. I've been really enjoying this protein matcha latte that I make. So I'll show you how to do it. It's so easy. Ingredients. Let me grab protein powder that you don't know, obsess with. I'm gonna do vanilla today. This is what I do. So it's basically like a protein coffee, but a protein matcha. It's delicious. I share this on my Instagram. But you're going to get some hot water. Not hot. Just get like lukewarm about this much water and put it in the microwave just to get warm doesn't have to be hot not boiling just warm so like i don't know like 30 40 seconds in there so it's just warm it's not hot then i'm gonna take my matcha i i shared the peak one before on here but i do really like it i use it it's my favorite it's like high quality ceremonial grade and i'm just gonna put however much i want of that out that much. If you guys don't know matcha, it's just ground up green tea leaves. There's a lot of benefits, health benefits to it. Antioxidants. And then I just take a little whisk. Whisk her up, give her a good stir. Make sure there's no clumps. Oh my God. Okay, well, that just came out. I was washing it, so I must not have put it in correctly. I also have to get an oil change this week. Oh, just remember that. No, thank you. Oh, I cut my hair. <laughs> Hello. I chopped my hair off like five inches or so. It feels really healthy, really nice. Okay, put ice in here. I'm gonna start cooling down your matcha because this is gonna be an iced matcha latte. We're gonna do milk, however much milk you want. Then I have some of this brown sugar. Oh, I'm gonna do a splash of that. And then just add your protein powder. Just making a protein shake. That's gonna be your milk. It's like one of my favorite hacks. So this is like 30 grams of protein. This is great if you're not hungry in the morning necessarily. We ate late because I picked Matt up at like midnight last night. So I'm gonna put this on, shake it up. And I like it because I don't even feel like I need to add stevia or monk fruit or anything because the protein powder is a really good flavor. Clean Simple Eats, I do love their protein powders. Um, they did give me a code to give you some money off if you guys are interested. I'll have it all down below, but I genuinely love them. It's so good. Okay, so now this is kind of cooled down a little bit. Just gonna add your milk. Oh, mm. It's so good. If you find that you don't like the taste of matcha, definitely try adding a protein powder that you like the flavor of. This is the vanilla flavor, but I like every flavor. When you're mixing the matcha, 
and a little bit of water. Make sure it's only a little bit because as the ice melts, it'll add more water. You don't want to water down your latte. So just do enough warm water to blend your matcha. But cheers. I figure out what I want to eat. But I think I'm just going to... I'm not starving right now. So, like I said, we ate late. So I'm going to get into my girls check-ins because i'm doing check-ins until normally like 9 p.m because i don't have any meetings today because it's technically a holiday so i was supposed to i have two standing meetings on mondays like one with my team and then another one and they got pushed because it's a holiday so i have more time so we're gonna use that to our advantage i thought it could be fun to do just like an updated little favorite since we haven't chatted in a while there's some things that i have gotten in the past month that i've been trying out that i love so i was literally about to do my laundry and these socks were on top of it. I am obsessed with these. These are expensive socks. They're the Bombas. Bomba socks. They're dirty. I got these in my Vivrel package this month. I'll show you what I got on Vivrel. I'm so excited. But they threw these in. And these are fantastic. The marketing works because I will be buying these. I can't describe. They're like the perfect material. These would be such a good gift to give someone. Um, because they're like expensive socks. I don't know exactly how much they are But like they just hug the foot really well. I know this is gross because they're dirty, but They sit on your ankle perfectly. They're like the perfect stretch. They give you the perfect support I just cannot say enough good things about them. I'm about to wash them, but I had to pull them out of the laundry to show you next up. Let's do food Okay, I did a shop the dietitian target edition on my tiktok if you guys don't know I We'll go into a store and take you along with me as I shop through and kind of like talk you through products that I like. I did that in Target and I came across this brand called Oat House, which is basically an oat based spread. So think like nut butter, but it's nut free. You have kiddos who can't bring peanut butter to school or whatever. These would be a great option. And I asked you guys, is it worth it? Are they good? And you guys overwhelmingly were like, it's amazing. You have to try it. So much so that the founder, who's also a female-owned, it's a female-owned company, reached out and was like, can we send you stuff? And I was like, please. So I got all the flavors. These are the ones that I opened first. They're in my fridge right now. Guys, I got these, like, I think three days ago. Look at that. I'm not like a... Okay, this is going to be an unpopular opinion. I like peanut butter. I do. But I don't put it on, like, everything I eat. I'm... I don't know. Like, I'll eat it with an apple. But I'm not like a huge, like how can I add nut butter onto something? That is the opposite with these. This is the, okay wait. This is the brownie batter flavor. This one's at Target. So if you guys wanna go to Target, you can get you can get it or you can buy them online. Um, this with strawberries dipped into it. Oh, before I say anything, you have to put these in the fridge. Get them, bring them home, whatever. But order them, buy them at Target. Stir them up and then put them in the fridge. They have a kind of a grainy texture if you eat them just plain, like room temp. Not my favorite. Put them in the fridge. They be, they get this like fudgy, this like fudgy frosting consistency. And there's chocolate chips in it. It's so good. So I love the brownie batter. I also love the cookies and cream. Look at the white chocolate chips in there. I, I, I've been eating... Oh. I've been eating this like crazy on all my fruit or honestly just for the spoonful and then vanilla is also at target you can get this one target too this reminds me of like graham cracker flavors but i mean i got these not not long ago at all and i'm obsessed so if you see these two are at target the vanilla and the brownie batter um but they have cookies and cream which is really good um, they also sent banana bread, cinnamon roll, and original. I haven't put those in the fridge yet, but even raw, that sounds weird. They're still good, but I know they'll be better in the fridge. So I've been loving that. I've been eating so much fruit. We'll switch it up. Let's do this hair mist. This is hair and body mist from Skylar Clean Beauty. I love this brand, Skylar. They randomly started sending me PR one time, and I had no idea who they were, and I have so many of their scents are my favorites now and they're clean which i get a lot of questions about clean fragrances so skylar they're in sephora it's a great brand but they just sent this hair and body mist it's 
very very sweet this reminds me of like pink sugar if you guys know that that scent it's very 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 candy sweet the notes are pure vanilla cotton candy and coconut milk so it's very sweet but i just like spraying it in my hair like after a workout or just like freshen up i don't know i feel like it just it smells so nice i love the idea of a hair mist and i keep this in my car it's called boardwalk delight i really like it it says hypoallergenic safe for sensitive skin it's very very sweet though so if you don't like sweet cotton candy scents you probably won't like the scent but this brand in general skylar next time you're in sephora try them out like just smell them and their sephora sales coming up so this would be something great to grab and then we have Amy Lou, you guys know I've been obsessed with Amy Lou for years. I recently just did start working with them, which has been like one of my dream brands. So thank you to you guys. Honestly, like seriously so cool that I get to work with them. But I love all of their products. So they're basically just like chicken. They have meatballs, sausages. How many do I have? Like two more of these sausages left. The Harvest Apple. I've been eating this with my breakfast. I've been having one egg and then a half cup of egg whites with three of these links and then either like some avocado or like a, an orange or an apple like some sort of fruit so i get 30 grams of protein first thing in the morning 30 grams plus it's been great helps curb a lot of my cravings throughout the day and just i don't find myself being so snacky it just really sets you up when you have a big breakfast first thing also love these meatballs sea salt cracked black pepper um they have chicken burgers i love them because they're chicken but they're fully cooked so you don't have to worry about gross chicken so gross, I was popping the air fryer and they're so good. You get the big sizes at Costco of those or I've gotten them at Whole Foods, Target, Sprouts, like they're everywhere pretty much now. Love those. And then, discussed this in the mail yesterday. You guys know, our favorite knives of all time, this one's dirty, but this one's clean, are the Misen knives. These are insane. Misen. This is the chef's knife. We are obsessed with, we have two of Two of the big chef's knives and we use them all the time we've had them for since we lived in our old apartment so over two like i would say over two years and they've held up fantastic they are japanese grade steel they're so affordable like some knives are just like hundreds of dollars these are not i think they're like under 100 and they're unbelievable i love them and so we just got this one which is the it's a little bit smaller was it utility knife yeah it's got the utility knife so it's basically the same thing but just a little bit smaller so love those if you guys are looking for new knives um or you have like a registry coming up you're getting married love love those i think that's all i can think about right now but again as things come up i'll share but i missed you guys so i want to catch y'all up on things i've been loving oh i also sorry one more thing i also switched to the vegan formula i switched to the vegan formula of neutrophil because the regular one had a lot of biotin and my esthetician said that that might be breaking me out so i've been doing four pills of the but i'm gonna make breakfast i'm gonna cook up the last two of these sausages one egg half cup egg whites scramble those together and i put like turmeric black pepper garlic powder onion powder cayenne in there and then i will probably do i have one more sumo orange so i'll do that as my fiber filled carbohydrate yeah gonna be a lot of protein i'm doing my check-ins right now and one of my girls one of the questions i ask for my weekly check-in is what was your biggest win last week and one of my girls goes i think i'm finally starting to notice some changes in my body which is exciting Woo! and we've been working together for just under a month this client so i'm so happy another girl says her biggest win was she's hitting all of her protein and fiber goals one of my clients barely had any hunger cues throughout the day she could go like all day without eating meaning that she had a very slow metabolism metabolism that was going through it you know so we had to work our way back up to get her metabolism going again and just revving up and she's saying that she's hungry throughout the day now which is great we have some good wins good wins for my monday check-in girls <laughs> i'm so excited someone else said they're planning out meals hitting their protein fiber other people are saying they're feeling more confident eating out at restaurants someone's going to the bathroom more regular I get like genuinely so excited when this kind of when I when I read their wins. It's just like I just did three ch client check-ins, and I'm trying out this new energy drink that I got sent. It's E Boost Super Fuel Natural Energy and Vitamins. So I guess it's just like not as many 
chemicals as like a Celsius or a Lani. I still drink those like every once in a while. I know they're not great for you, but it's not good if you have like two or three a day. I think it's fine if you have one. Everyone's caffeine tolerance is different. There are a lot of, there's like 200 milligrams of caffeine in most of those. I think this one only has 110, so not nearly as bad. It definitely, I would give this like a seven out of 10. If Celsius and Alani's are like 10 out of 10, it's like a seven out of 10. It definitely tastes like healthier. I don't really know how to describe it. If you're looking for a more natural alternative, I would give it a go. They sell them at, I think their Instagram says, CVS. They're in like stores, so you can try them out. This is the Blue Raz. There's three other flavors I have to try, so that's my little review on this. But Abercrombie, it's today's last day. It's Abercrombie's last day for the 20% off sale. And if you guys follow me on TikTok, you know that I did like that whole asking you which wedding dress guest guest dress you guys liked best. And I ordered them and they all came in. So we're gonna do a try on. This will still be going up today, so if they're still in stock, you can try them on. Or you can order them 20% off. Okay, you guys, here's dress number one. I think it's so cute. It's coming off really pink. It's a little more magenta in real life. There, it's kind of going darker. But it's this like high-low dress. I feel like it's just so cute for like a spring wedding. I feel like it's really cute and it's very flattering. Like this ruching here is really nice. I also have larger chest. So this is, I feel like still flattering, but it still gives you like a little cleavage. You can also tuck them to the side a little bit more and then lift this up if you want less. And then I love this. the sleeves. Oh, I, th I think it's just so girly and pretty. 20% off. I think it's like around 100. Okay guys, here's the blue version of it. It has these little pink floral decals i need to get a tan but i think this is so cute i think this one's my favorite so far look at this dress from abercrombie i just got it it's 20 percent off right now today's the last day if you guys want to get it i love the ruching it's super flattering these little ruffle detailing the high low it's giving like flamenco in the best way okay just finished filming those dresses i'm gonna make some lunch i meal prepped these roasted veggies yesterday, just a bunch of baby carrots and then Brussels sprouts. I just did um, avocado oil, garlic powder, salt, pepper, like random seasonings and then roasted them at 425 until they were good to go. I would say like 20 minutes, but be careful because these are gonna, like the little chips are gonna cook really fast. And then I just, in the air fryer, I threw in four of these Amy Lou meatballs, they have 16 grams of protein. So we have some protein. I might do a little bit of cottage cheese also on the side. I'm gonna sit back down and eat this and then sit back down and do two more client check-ins. And then I have to edit that TikTok of me trying on the dresses, post that because today's the last day of the sale. And then I'm gonna start editing this vlog so I can get it up sooner than later. This is why I love meal prepping veggies because it's so easy. They're already cooked, there's no excuse not to eat them. I'm trying to figure out what sauce I want to put on them. Um, maybe buffalo. I've been loving, you guys know I love the Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce, especially on chicken. It gives it like a little buffalo chicken vibe. Why are there so many flies in our house? Easy ass meal, because I don't have time to like actually get shit dirty and cook. Also gonna add in a scoop of this Good Culture cottage cheese, one of my favorites. This has half cup, 14 grams of protein. So in this meal, there's about 30 grams of protein, the meatballs and the cottage cheese, and then some non-starchy veg and then some starchy veg. So we got everything, color, fiber, put a serving of that, so half cup. I'm also gonna have an olive pop on the side. This is the Doc Pop flavor. It's like Dr. Pepper. So good. Okay. While we wait, let me show you our drink fridge. Cause it's, well, first off, this is chaotic, but I'm always so blessed when brands send us drinks to try. Okay, so we have half days now, which are basically like another prebiotic soda 
alternative, but it's tea. So it's green tea, peach tea, raspberry tea, lemon tea. I would give these like an 8 out of 10. I think they're good. Yeah, drink them cold, but I think they're good. I like the lemon. I think the best. Um, Poppy, you guys know my favorite. I love Poppy. I love all the flavors. Some of my favorites are the raspberry rose or rose, sorry. The watermelon and I have more in here. The orange. I like the fruit ones. I like the Dr. Pepper too. And the strawberry lemon. Those are like my favorite. Olipop. Oh yeah, this is the overview of inside the fridge. Olipop, strawberry vanilla. Love that one. But my favorite's the grape. I love grape anything. These strawberry sparkling juices from Trader Joe's are delicious. It's like a little mocktail. Obviously, lemoncello LaCroix, of course. And then these are the <laughs> e-boost. The rest of the flavors are sparkling strawberry lemonade. I want to try that one next. I feel like that'll be good. We have some mocktails, just some like ginger Moscow mule, but it's obviously alcohol-free. My coconut water I'm obsessed with. Great source of natural electrolytes. We have the Olipop root beer. I got this. They sent this one. I don't love root beer. I don't even like regular root beer. So this one's going to be for Matt to try. Um, we have a couple Celsius. These Keen Kin Organic. These are like, or Kin Euphorics. These are adaptogen little functional beverages. Same with the Juni back there. And then we have some alcohol. Um, but we have not been drinking like at all, which has been so nice. Um, I just keep a lot of that in there for people who visit. And that's our drink fridge. I like having a little beverage with my lunch. Just along, and I'm drinking water like throughout the whole day, obviously. Okay, here's the final meal. Everything, great color, protein, fiber. Got my little dock pop, put some buffalo sauce on the chicken meatball, so it's like a little chicken, buffalo chicken vibe. And now we eat. I love meatballs. Something I really work on with myself and then also with my clients is mindful eating habits. A lot of us don't realize it, but we don't fully chew our food before we swallow. So really taking a bite, putting your fork down, chewing, not watching anything, not distracting, just being mindful while you're eating really helps, especially the beginning if you're trying to get into more like intuitive eating and being more like in tune with your own hunger cues because when our brains are watching something it's very easy for us to ignore our hunger cues and just go through the motions and then that that might be why you're feeling hungry after a meal assuming that you're eating like a well-balanced meal so really chewing your food i notice a lot of times when i'm in a rush i don't chew fully and when i take breaks like this and check in with myself and my hunger cues i'm like okay I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna go in for another bite. Obviously, I've only had one meatball so far. But that really helps with not feeling like you have to finish your plate if you're not hungry. But if I notice if I'm watching a YouTube video or something, I'll clear my plate without even checking in one time. And it's like, okay. And the difference when I am mindfully eating and I check in with myself while I'm eating, a lot of the times I don't finish my plate. And it's kind of crazy. Obviously, finish your plate if you are hungry, that goes without saying but these are just little tips that i use for mindful eating there's a thing called a hunger scale from one to ten. One is like you are so hungry like you could literally eat your own arm 10 is you're so full you can't move you're sick you're unbuttoning your pants you're like uncomfortable both of them are extremes what i want my clients to do when they go into a meal is to be around a four so they're not starving because when you go to a dinner or something and you've been maybe not eating all day because you're saving up for your meal, when that bread gets set down on the table or the endless chips and salsa, you're going at it. Like you're like, I saved up all day for this. And you are just eating the first thing that comes down on the plate on the table, which might not be the most nutrient dense items. So a thing that I have myself and my clients do if they're going out to eat and they are getting around that four or lower on the hunger scale before they even get to the restaurant i have them eat a snack before that's protein and fiber to really just make them not go into their meals starving so they can make a better choice and they can actually see like what they want and their hunger cues aren't all skewed that's one of my tips and then stopping eating around like a seven or an eight so you're not overtly full like growing up i felt like i 
in order to be full, I had to be like sickly full, like, oh my God, I can't even eat another bite. I try to stop around like a seven or an eight now. And that usually I feel great after meals. If I do feel a little full, I try to go for a walk if I can get some steps and even for just like five minutes, that usually helps. And sticking between that four to five to seven to eight range is gonna be a really great tool for you to use if you've also been trying to get more into mindful eating and intuitive eating. Okay, now I'm gonna get back to my meal so I can focus on it. <laughs> and here's my final plate. This is what I'm talking about where I'm not feeling like I have to finish my plate, which is something that I work on every single day. This is not something that gets, is easy for me. I really have to still be mindful because I grew up clearing my plate. I'm probably at like a seven and a half on the fullness scale right now. So I could eat these, but I'm going to save them, put them back in here instead. I didn't heat up my veggies. I like my veggies cold. I know it's weird, but even if you did heat them up, whatever. I'll put them back into here and I'm going to have them later. I'm sitting with myself and just like as my meal is settling, I'm getting more and more full because your body has a little bit of delay with your hunger cues and your brain, so it's not immediate. So again, taking it slow, eating slow, being mindful is super important if you are trying to get more in tune with your own hunger cues and move towards intuitive eating. I also just got a package from Split59. You guys have ever heard of them, they are a athletic brand and I'm trying out their stuff for the first time. They sent over. They go, hey Blair, we're so excited to get these pieces to you. Can't wait to see you in splits. Splits 59. <laughs> okay. I got some cute stuff. This is the first set. <gasps> I got to pick these out. Guys, look how cute these are. Little set. I need to self-tan desperately. Because I look insane right now. But how cute. Very movable, livable. Very comfortable. Obsessed. They only had extra small leggings. Usually I'd probably get a small, but they fit. They're very stretchy. So maybe even size down one if you want a little more compression. And then the top, I got a size medium just because I have a larger chest and I probably could have done a small. Okay, I'm obsessed with these leggings. So they look just like normal black with like a little white stripe. Look at the, the green on the inside. It's so cute. And then I just got a normal black bra because I wear these all the time. Um, medium again, again, I could have gotten a small, so that's good to know for next time. It is a little big, so size down. If you want a little more compression, it's still comfortable, I'll still wear it. Um, and these I got size small and they're perfect. So I, I'm a, I think I'm a true small in both, if that helps with referencing for you. But I, oh, and there's one more item, of course. This one, this one's not gonna be news to anyone. I got another fleece, even though it is about to be summer. You guys know how I feel about my fleeces. And I don't have a white one like this. This is white with, I think it's black I don't, or blue, I, navy, I can't tell. I love my ones from Old Navy. <laughs> oh my God, how cute is this? Stop. Look at how cute this is. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna be wearing this all the freaking time. How cute. I love it. I got a size medium in the fleece. So it is cropped. I like how it has like a little bit of, like it folds under. It has some elastic here. I wish the old navy ones had that more. I'm obsessed, guys, this brand, Split 59. New fan for sure. These are the leggings. The material's a little different than the other ones, but oh, I'm obsessed. And this is perfect. I was literally about to get up to start editing this vlog and go walk on my treadmill while I edit. And I was like, I need to change into workout clothes. And then I checked the front and this was there. So I'm gonna keep this on. Well, I'm gonna take this off because it's hot. But I'm gonna keep my little outfit on and we're gonna edit this vlog a little bit. I also just forgot to show you, but I did snack on some of the oat house butter with some fruit and had some pumpkin seeds, just a little random snack plate. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. If you guys been wanting some new workout stuff, definitely check this brand out. All right. Ignore how messy my office is, but I have 
edited the vlog up until this point and it's five o'clock now i have two more check-ins to do for the rest of the night but i also want to take indiana walk because i didn't go work out today um obviously i'm walking now and i've been walking for 48 minutes see it goes by so fast when i'm working on my computer but if i were to just walk on the treadmill for 48 minutes that would feel like seven hours but i'm like in otherwise i would be editing this just sitting on my couch and I'm walking, I think, at like a 4.5, which is like a good speed. I'm getting a little sweaty. Um, but I want to take her on a walk because she's been inside all day. I have to feed her, go outside with her. And then I'll come back and do my last two check-ins. Dinner. Matt is at the gym right now. He has golf later. He plays in a simulator golf league. Just pretend golf. Um, men are so interesting. And so I'm not on, on my own for dinner, so I'll probably have the rest of my roasted veggies, honestly, just because they're already prepped. And, and I have some microwavable rice. Oh, I made chicken salad yesterday also as a meal prep. So I'll do some chicken salad, or I could do a chicken salad wrap with some roasted veggies on the side. That's what I'll probably do. Get some carbs, some fiber, protein, all of that. So that's what I'll do. And then at night, I've been really liking making this little dandelion tea latte. I'll show you. It's dandelion tea, but it's a caramel flavored. Because normal dandelion tea tastes like shit. But dandelion root is really great for your liver, just to support your liver. Just to support its your liver's like natural functions. It doesn't detox you. Your liver does a great job of that on its own. It does not need, you don't need teas to do any of that, but it does help support a healthy liver. I was just talking to one of my endocrinologist friends and she was telling me about the study that came out. And anyway, so I've been trying to incorporate a little bit more of that. And I've been loving this little nighttime nightcap drink that I've been making with it. I, it it's delicious. I like froth my milk and everything. It's great. We're already at 34 minutes in this vlog. Oh, I had a question about that dress, the white dress, the last one I showed. Do you guys think that's too white? That was the whole reason why I ordered those dresses because it's on TikTok, it's like a whole thing, but I forgot that you guys don't have context. We were wondering if that's too white of a dress to wear to a wedding. Sound off in the comments. <laughs> Cause I am not keeping all three of them. I am returning. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop this. Feed her, take her on a walk, and then upload. It is 5.30 and I realize I'm just gonna do my last two check-ins now and then I'll go on my walk at 6.30 until 7.30 with Indy and then we'll be good because I really do need to export this and get this up. So I'll show you my tea. I'll show you the tea that I was talking about. All you're gonna do with it is treat it like a latte. So what I do, I'll, I'll link it down below for you guys too. So I just get mine off Amazon. Head in my tea box. It's this dandelion caramel nut. It's caffeine free, so that's why I like it at night. But again, I'll link it down below. Heat this up. Heat some water up like a normal tea. Put this bag in while it's steeping. With your milk frother, I will milk. I will froth up almond milk and my favorite coffee creamer. I love the cinnamon one that I showed earlier in my latte. Basically the same exact basically the same exact combo that I did in my matcha latte this morning. Froth that up and then take the tea bag out, tea bag out once it's like steeped for five minutes. Pour the froth milk on top. Oh, it makes like the best tea like latte ever. Tea latte. Just like a nice little sweet treat to end the night. I've also been obsessed with dates stuffed with the oat house butter so and then putting them in the freezer so i'll have like one date with the oat house nut butter i love all the flavors of it and then i'll have it with my tea and it's just like the perfect little sweet treat at night and i am obsessed that's where i'm gonna end off this video i hope you guys enjoyed again we have the whole week together so i'll eventually show you making all this stuff but i just i have a lot to do with like the check-ins today mondays are just a little crazy and i want to get this up we'll get it up i'll film me making it tonight and then put it in tomorrow's vlog there we go. But I just want to get this up before. I have my tea at like 9 p.m. I'm not going to wait to end this vlog for that. So I'll show you tomorrow. But that's essentially what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to come back for tomorrow's vlog. And then if you have any requests or anything, let me know. If you have any requests for vlog week, let me know. Otherwise, I love you so much, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.